The internet is full of mysteries. I'm Truth is Scarier Than Fiction, and I'd like to welcome you to Internet Case Files, the show where I bring you to some of the strangest and scariest corners of the web and investigate the mysteries that they bring. Personal information being stolen, remote hackers being able to turn on your camcorder, secret organizations that infiltrate high-profile targets, all tied up to an international conspiracy. While this sounds like something off of a deep web creepypasta or a TV episode, this actually occurred in real life. In 2009, the Infrawar Monitor, a venture which was the result of a partnership between the SecDev Group, a think tank, and the Citizen Lab of the University of Toronto, which I'll refer to as the IWM from now on discussed the possibility of the Dalai Lama servers being hacked with the Dalai Lama's representative in Geneva. An investigation soon followed, and the IWM was joined by the University of Cambridge and the Institute for Information Infrastructure Protection. The story was reported on by the New York Times. The actual virus works like this. An email containing a Trojan is sent to the target. When the target opens up an attachment, the Trojan is loaded onto the computer, which allows the server to access the computer. And an additional virus known as Ghost Rat is also sometimes loaded onto the computer, which allows the hacker to gain complete control over any computer running Windows. Hack systems were found in the embassies of many of China's neighbors, including South Korea, India, Indonesia, Thailand, the partially recognized state of Taiwan and Pakistan. The Prime Minister's office of Laos was also found to hose infiltrated hardware. Foreign ministries were also targeted, including those of Bangladesh, Bhutan, the Philippines, and Brunei. Probably most importantly was the aforementioned hack of the Dalai Lama system, as the Dalai Lama is also traditionally the leader of Tibet, a former nation now under the occupation of China. GhostNet was discovered merely a year after widespread Tibetan unrest, which resulted in 18 deaths and numerous international attacks against Chinese embassies by Tibetan separatists. So the question is, who is behind GhostNet? Most people believe it was the Chinese government, however IWM was never able to actually prove this. The University of Cambridge claims, based on their analysis of the hack, that China was behind GhostNet. Other possibilities were also raised, including that GhostNet was run by private Chinese citizens and not the government. Other theories allege that Russia or the United States is behind the attack. Despite the theories, I think we can conclusively say that the Chinese government was behind the attacks, or they at least had the information received by the hacks. Few other nations or individuals would have reason to hack the Dalai Lama's servers. One of GhostNet's control servers was revealed to be government-owned. China also harassed a man who had received an invitation via email to meet the Dalai Lama. So, we don't know the names of the people behind GhostNet, but we can safely say they had a strong connection to China. GhostNet serves two purposes as a modern warning. How dangerous viruses have become and how much cyber terrorism and hacking has an effect on international relations. I'm Truth is Fear and Fiction, and thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video, please check out my other Internet Case Files videos. And remember, fear keeps us going.